nature of auditing. Auditing is the accumulation and the evaluation of evidence about information, which called financial statements, are prepared according gap or not. Auditing should be done by a competent, independent person. Accounting is the recording, classifying, and summarizing the financial transactions to providing financial information which be useful to decision makers. Auditing determines the recorded information reflected the events that occurred during the accounting period and the following gap. An assurance service is an independent professional service that improves the quality of information for decision makers. Attestation service is a one category of assurance in which the TPA says prepare a report about the reliability of an accession that is made by another part. It includes five parts. This table explains the three basic types of audit, which included operational audit, compliance audit, and the financial statement audit. The activities of CPA including number one audit and assurance service number two accounting and bookkeeping service number three tax service number four management consulting service audit standards include 10 generally accepted audit standards and classified into three basic categories number one general standard number two standard of field work Number three, reporting standard. The general standard included three basic standards. The first standard, adequate technical training and occupation. The second standard, independence in mental attitude. And the third standard related to due professional care. Third, field work included three basic standards. The first, adequate planning. The second, understand the entity and its environment, including internal control and evaluate it. The third, sufficient appropriate evidence. Standards of reporting concern whether the statements were prepared in accordance with GAP and express an opinion about the financial statement as a whole. The elements on the standard and qualified audit report, including eight elements. Number one, report title. Number two, audit report address. Number three, introduction paragraph. Number four, management responsibility. Management is responsible for the preparation and the fair presentation of the financial statement. Five, auditor responsibility. Our responsibility is to express an opinion in this financial statement passed on our audit. The audit was conducted in accordance with the GAP, and the audit is designed to obtain reasonable assurance about whether the statements are free of material misstatements. Four paragraphs include what the audit performed audit procedure to obtain audit evidence about the amount and disclosure in the financial statement. Opinion paragraph includes the following. In our opinion, the financial statements are present fairly and following case. Name and address of CPA. Conditions for a standard and qualified audit report including four conditions. For example, all statements, balance sheet, income statements, statement of RE and the statement of cash flow are included in the financial statement. And the editor 
gathering sufficient appropriate evidence. The editor issue and qualifies all three for the with exploring the paragraph in two basic cases when lack of gap and doubtful about going concern. Doubt about going concern realized in the company had suffered loss or had shortage in working capital. Conditions required a departure for unqualified audit report. Departure from an unqualified audit opinion includes three basic cases. Number one, scope limitation. Number two, gap departure. Number three, auditor not independent. Or restriction. Increase when Number one, the client management refused the editor to confer material receivable or to count in the door. Gap departure increase when number one, the client is a replacement cost for fixed assets. Number two, or evaluate the inventory according to market size. Consider not independent if you own the stock or shares in the company. 